Hi guys! Today I'm recording a vlog and I'm so excited to show you my day because oh my god it's gonna be so productive and so exciting and I cannot wait to take you with me guys. For those who don't know me my name is Katya I am a graduate student at Harvard and Currently, I am finishing my research paper and we are gonna upload it on Archive very, very soon. Archive, if you don't know, is a platform where researchers usually upload their preprints uh, before formal publication. Anyways, I've been working on this project for a long, long time and finally, I'm excited to share it with the world. So today is July 4th and it's Friday and I'm currently in London in my lovely, lovely studio. It's so beautiful and yeah I'm gonna be working on my research paper today I need to do a few final edits and then hopefully hopefully we are ready to put it online guys the reason I'm saying hopefully is because you know when you work on research papers and you actually write the paper you're gonna go through so many iterations and then you will feel like you're almost done and then something comes up and you're like okay I fixed that okay and you're like oh I'm almost done again and then there is some issue again. Anyways, but today I think we're gonna finish it for real. I'm gonna work during the day and then at 3.30 I have a meeting with my collaborators. Um, yeah, and then, then, then it should be ready. Anyways, and then in the evening I have some plans. I'm going to music quiz, like Russian music quiz situation in another part of London. My friend invited me. And then if I have time before that, I will also stop by a networking event called golden hour anyway so we'll see we'll see how far we go today and also next week i'm participating in a summer school called london summer school on geometric machine learning or something like that and i'm going to be presenting a poster there which means that i have to make the poster today as well so okay it's gonna be a very busy day but i'm excited to take you with me guys and i'm gonna show you what i use to write my research paper and you know all the different tools and everything so if you are getting started with research or you're just curious then you'll see the process but first things first it's time to walk my dog Tuffy let's go let's go outside I just came back from my walk and I had a quick breakfast. I had oatmeal with some tea and now I'm gonna get to work. And as I told you, so first I'm gonna work on editing my paper and I'm gonna show you how I do it and what tools I use. And then I am gonna work on my poster. And okay, so I've been working on this project for a long, long time, many, many months now, and I am excited that I'm actually finishing it finally. The project was in the field of topological data analysis, and I basically developed a new algorithm and proved a theorem about you know why it works and why it's useful. And I was working with two collaborators for this project, and yeah, I'm so so happy that. I'm gonna share it with the world very, very soon. So the way we write research papers usually, and I think this is true for like most scientific fields, like, you know, math, physics, chemistry, whatever, everybody uses Overleaf, which is this website that allows you to create documents that look beautiful and you can also create posters and slides and everything, but mostly it's used for research papers. So I used Overleaf and yeah, uh, usually each journal or each conference has their own style files or like template that you can upload to Overleaf and then all you have to do is just add your text and your figures and other details but the style is gonna be coming from the style files and so you don't have to worry about you know making sure that everything looks professional and pretty it's already done for you so it's very convenient yeah that's what I used to actually write the paper and that's what we've been using for this project as well. And then for actually writing, you guys, if you know me, you know that I am very obsessed with writing. I love writing. Uh, for that, I use a tool called Jenny. Jenny is a website 
that helps you write research papers. And it is designed specifically for researchers and graduate students. So if you are in that position and you haven't heard of this tool, I definitely recommend checking it out. And the way I usually use it is, first of all, I can upload my research paper there. And then I can also upload all of the sources and references that I'm using in my paper. And then what I can do is, for example, I'm trying to write a paragraph, but you know, I'm, I'm kind of tired and I, I don't want to worry about, you know, how nicely it sounds. So first I write a really rough draft of that paragraph and then I can ask Jenny to make it sound better. And then you can either write a custom prompt for the AI edit feature. You can ask it to, to generate or paraphrase text. And then there are like some other tools that I really, really like. Some of them are focused on improving your writing. Like, for example, improving fluency of your text or paraphrasing certain parts. And you can paraphrase them in different tones. So for example, academic, casual, persuasive, bold, friendly. I usually use academic for my research papers. And then, you know, if you are trying to, to explain some difficult math concept, like I need to do sometimes, you can use the simplify feature to make the text simpler and more clear. I really, really like these features and I use them a lot. And then also, uh, for example, when I'm actually writing the paper and, you know, if you've been working on a project for a long time, you actually, you know, tend to forget certain things. Like, for example, you might have read a paper like five months ago and now you have to cite it or remember a specific fact from the paper and usually it's a challenge let me just put it this way usually it's a challenge but what I like about Jenny is that I can upload you know all of the references and sources to Jenny directly and then if I need to look up a specific fact or information I can actually just use the AI chat feature and just ask Jenny to find me that information and give me a citation and actually like when I ask a question and Jenny pulls up the information it actually gives you the citation like it actually can show you where it got that information from which is very helpful especially you know when you have some references some papers that are like 50 pages long and you don't have time to reread all of that again so I really like this feature I think these are the main two features that I use and also like I like Jenny because it's super integrated you know, I like the interface itself and the fact that, you know, I can have my library, all of my references in one place and then I have the text uh, that I'm working on in the middle and then on the right I can have the AI chat feature, you know, to ask any questions. And so everything is in one place and you can just focus on the writing. And then also once you're done writing, you can export the writing either as a Word document or LaTeX or just plain text and it's very convenient you know for me I might export it in latex if I need to because that's usually what you do with research papers but yeah that's how I do it and then also I use ChatGPT um, when I need to either edit text or if I need to for example create a readme file for the github repo that is gonna go along with the paper so basically I told you guys I wrote this algorithm and you know it does all of those cool things and has very interesting applications but you know if I don't share the algorithm with the world nobody's gonna use it right and so that's why I had to create a github repo and make my code open source the cool thing is that you can just ask ChatGPT to write a readme file for you and literally you know, all I had to do is, you know, upload the code to ChatGPT and explain what it's doing and then ask it to write a very detailed readme and include some examples of like how to use the code. I'm grateful that today's video is sponsored by Jenny AI. Thank you so much for sponsoring today's video. If you guys want to try Jenny yourself, you can actually use my promo code CUT20 to get 20% off your subscription and you can sign up for free and check it out for yourself before you subscribe. But yeah, thanks again, Jenny, for sponsoring today's video. Okay, guys, the paper is in a good shape. I just need to update two figures and I already have the updates ready 
and yeah then we're gonna put the paper on our card that's so exciting <laughs> you guys what makes me happy these days putting a paper on archive literally that's it okay guys i'm running to print the poster because i have 20 minutes before the call with my collaborators and i hope i'm gonna make it on time okay guys i'm back thankfully i was able to convince the guy to print me the poster today because he was like oh i'm only gonna do it on monday but he was very nice he was very nice he was understanding and yeah it's like i have three minutes before my call with collaborators i'm excited i edited that part slightly where like i was trying to emphasize that the couplings was coming from two independent cohomology classes okay guys so i am very happy with how my day my work day went today i managed to create the poster and the paper is basically ready and yeah i was so stressed about the poster guys because i haven't made a poster in quite some time and then i used gamma and i wasn't even sure if it would be able to help me because gamma is usually used for making slides and i was like let me try to use it to make a poster and it summarized the paper pretty well and then i just manually adjusted some things and edit figures and yeah I'm very very happy and I'm gonna have a quick dinner now. I'm making salmon and uh, some pasta and also some strawberries and bananas separately, okay? <laughs> the strawberries are so good here in London. Oh my god, guys. I forgot what strawberries taste like, you know, when they're actually good. And yeah, I'm gonna have a quick dinner and then I'm gonna go have some fun. If I'm gonna be on time, I'm gonna stop by the networking event I told you guys about. It's you know a bunch of entrepreneurs, founders, creatives, influencers, and then after that I'm gonna go and meet up with my friend and its other friends and we're gonna do some music quiz situation. I have no idea what it's gonna be like, but I'm excited! <laughs> Thank you.